What's up, you two? I'm Taylor at Go Power Sports. It's your boy Flacco. We are about to install the MB200 bolt on gas tank kit. So, in this kit, you get the brackets, which are adjustable. You can move front and back. You also have the rubber mount bushings. Anytime you mount, a metal gas tank you definitely want to have rubber bushings in between all of the metal necessary hardware it's going to come with 5 16ths coarse thread um, bolts and if you see there the nuts are serrated so you won't have to torque you them. don't have to get a wrench up in there yeah exactly and those bolt this bracket onto the frame and of course you're going to need additional fuel line because you'll be relocating your gas tank from right mounted right on top of the engine to the top of the bike so yep send you additional fuel line as well once you get the front mounted once you get that all situated then you have your rear mount we're going to drill a hole through the frame and you once again you got a rubber bushing that's going to mount the gas tank onto this frame and it'll sit like so so first we're going to mount those front brackets we're gonna get the bushings on, get the tank mounted up front, and then we'll drill the hole and get it uh, finished out. So starting off, when you go to install your tank mount brackets, you wanna make sure that you got the flat side of your bracket to the bottom of the bike. So you'll see the top of it has a crown to it or a radius, and the bottom will be exactly flat. So you want your spacer on the outside, obviously, with the flat side of the bracket Point south. And when mounting it, you'll use the bottom two slots. You can kind of disregard the top slot. And if you go ahead and try to mount it, you will see that you won't be able to get the nut on the other side because the main spine will block you. So that leaves you the two bottom slots to mount it in. Don't hit your face on that. It's really close. <laughs> <laughs> Bolt and washer goes on the outside. And then your serrated nut goes on the inside, which like he said before, you just hold with your fingers and you tighten up. Come on, play nice. All right, you got your fingers out of the hole? Yep. So flat side is on the bottom, curved side on the top. And if you look at the front, that angle is going to go with your yep. neck. It'll line right up with it. That was the top one. That's that's the hard one. You went straight to that one. It's very adjustable, so you can put it really wherever you want, but we're going to go right in the middle of this tube. So we're going to get each side right in the middle of that tube. Trail riders, trail riders, guys who need that that extra gallon of soda, that extra little capacity. Yeah, this is basically a two gallon tank. Yeah. And when we went up to Colorado and rode through the mountains, this two gallon tank would take us all day. Yeah. I mean, it's all you need yeah. for a full day of riding. Yeah. And these were on built motors. These, this wasn't stock stuff. So it was really sucking. We're running a lot of fuel through yeah. there. So we got the tank. We got to put on these rubber plugs. These are a tight 
tight, tight fit. So I like to just stretch them out a little bit before. I just kind of wallow them on, give them a turn, just a little persuasion. You know, to slide right on. And we may, mm -hmm. may end up trimming a little bit of the rubber. Sometimes you'll have to trim a little bit off the end, but don't do that first. Try it first. You want rubber in between all the metal. And you actually want as snug as you can possibly get it. We're gonna do a little lubricant on the outside. And Flacco's gonna slide that puppy on there. And you will see your grooves on the inside. It's more or less like channels that meet up and match up and slide on. Because we got it pre-greased. Should slide fairly easy. Now we gotta trim. Yeah. Gotta trim them? Yeah. I'm gonna grab a razor blade. Test it first. Yeah. Test fit. Always. Always. Measure twice. Work right on there. There we go. Perfect. So I can see. We still might want to break them loose. Just to, I see I'm kind of tilted a little bit. So what we'll do is break them loose and just Give it a slight tip. Now try to finagle. Beautiful. Go ahead and lock right it back there. in. Very nice. Oh yeah. We got a mark here, rear hole. You want a silver? Yeah, silver work. See if I can go through it. Oh yeah. Now, let's get that tank out of the way. We'll drill that real hole. Let's put a rag underneath. Someone would only know that from experience. It's, and it's really kind of one of them pet peeves. Been doing it a long time, thing. You look perfect right there. That's it? Yep. Perfect. Hang on. That way, son. Right there? Right there. Go right at the top of the motor. <laughs> Want to make sure you take all that sharp stuff off the top. Might even take a file and run it on the bottom. Nice. Thank you, sir. Put the tank back on. Make sure your rubber bushings are still on there. Oh, it's fitting well, even better perfect. and better. Perfect. <clears throat> Washer and bolt. In the top, rubber bushing, rubber underneath. bushing in between the tank. Nice. Thank you, sir. 
and that is a 5 16 bolt so you want to use a half inch wrench there's a half I got the bottom yep. just hold that top Wait. Thing look good too. Oh yeah. It's already giving a whole nother bike. Buy a ratchet wrenches, y'all. And change your life. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, a, maybe a hair. Let's go a hair tighter. It give it more muscle. Now when you put this tank on, obviously you will take off your stock tank and then you'll run the supplied fuel line from our MB200 gas tank to your carburetor. That's it. 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Yep. I don't think it was 20. I think that was 10. Let's go ahead and put the seat back on. It was honestly just sitting on. That bolt out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that does look good. I like where that went. You want a little bit of play. Yeah, just barely just exactly what we have. There you have it. That's the MB200 gas tank mounts with our MB200 slash Hurricane tank. Yes, all bolted up, ready to rock and roll. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for the next one. Stay tuned, YouTube. We got some crazy stuff coming, man. Yeah. Some good stuff. Some fast stuff. <laughs>